Hi, divers. Alec Pierce here at the service bench. Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips. So today, this is a service video, a game for you handymen, and uh, you uh, do it yourselfers, like to fix your own stuff. This, this is this is for you. First of all, let's begin like this. Second stage of a regulator. I'm sure you recognize that. Simplest thing in the world. They really are very, very simple. Even the complicated ones are simple. So if you wanted to open this up and fix it and clean it and so on, I, I'm not going to say no. It's really simple. Keep the parts spread out in order. Hopefully you have an exploded diagram off the internet or from your local dive stores. You can put it back together properly and hopefully it works. Check it out in shallow water first. There's really no reason why not. They really are very simple. Today, specifically, we're going to answer a question. This is a question from one of, you, one of you viewers. I appreciate that. Keep them coming. I love the comments and questions. And he said, my, my regulator burps. I take the regulator out of my basement. We're heading off uh, on our dive trip, and we get out there, and, and, and I get in the water, and I suck into a regulator burps like that. Sometimes I can't blow out. And then my dupe, it's weird. What's going on? Well, let me show you a couple of things about the second stage. First of all, every regulator second stage is slightly different. The design is largely the same, but they all have their own little way of putting things together. Most regular second stages come apart. They're made to come apart pretty easily. Let's deal with this particular one. You'll have to look at yours very, very closely. Again, preferably with a service manual or a parts breakdown so you can see uh, how it works. This particular brand has a little pin. You can see that little pin right there. You just pull that pin out of there because that pin locks. Don't lose the pin like that. That pin locks the cover in place. Many regulators, the cover just unscrews. It's not locked in place. So you just unscrew the cover like so. I think you can see that. Cover comes off. That's actually two pieces. I'm not going to take it apart though, let's keep it simple. So that's piece one. So the next piece is what's called a, a friction ring. It's like a washer, but down here, friction ring. Thank you, Gavin. Put the friction ring in next. And then there's a locking ring. This locking ring is what actually keeps the diaphragm from falling out. The locking ring, and then lastly is the diaphragm. There's your four parts in order, and there's your lever. It's just as simple. I think on some of my tech tips you've seen, we've looked at these. You know how it works. The diaphragm goes in, pushes the lever, you get air. The whole idea. So uh, I just did that to show you how easy it is. This has nothing to do with burping. I just wanted to show you that. Now, in order to solve a burping regulator, even more specifically, a regulator that won't exhale, you blow into it, and even though you blow hard, it won't exhale. Then you have to look elsewhere. You have to look at the exhaust valve down in there. Now, to get to the exhaust valve, you have to go to the exhaust side. And again, this particular brand, they all come apart somehow. Sometimes with screws or clips, this particular brand uses a pin. Watch the pin coming up on the far side. See, I just pushed it out. So you just push the pin out, and then grab the pin and pull it out. Oh, my God. Don't lose the pin. And then that cover comes off, and there's your exhaust valve right there. Now, what happened? I need you to come in close here, Kevin, because take a look at this exhaust valve. This particular exhaust valve is silicone. There used to be a neoprene rubber. And this particular regulator, as most of them are, is now made of plastic. We call it Cycolac. Sounds better than plastic. <laughs> or Delrin. Sounds better than plastic. But they're plastic. That's good. They don't corrode and they last forever. So in the old regulators made of brass with a rubber uh, exhaust valve, a flapper valve, mushroom valve was his proper term, like this. It was very, very common for a regulator to freeze so that the exhaust valve wouldn't, it wouldn't exhale. And the reason it doesn't exhale is that that rubber valve right around there, this case silicone, but the rubber valve in particular gets stuck to the body. It just dries out. It gets stuck there. Got a bit of salt water on it. Maybe you didn't rinse it just as well as you ought to have, and it got stuck on there. So you go to blow out, it doesn't blow out. A uh, couple things you can do. I always suggest, first of all, put it in the water. Sometimes just the water on there is enough to dissolve that bit of salt and let it go. You can actually block the mouthpiece, push the purge button, and that real big blast of air under some pressure will pop it. Once it pops free on one side, it'll pop free all the way around, and it frees it up. You can see, and even on this regulator here, I don't know if you still zoomed in there, Kevin. Yep. See the little bit of salt down in there? Can you see that? Yep. See? That wasn't rinsed as well as it ought to have been, and that's what caused the problem. So don't be afraid, if you absolutely need to, to uh, 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 put the reg in the water if it's not working properly, if it's burping. And the burping, by the way, is caused by this exhaust valve letting a bit of air out and then stopping it. So it's going... That's what causes the burping, sometimes called a honking. And then put the parts back together and you're all set to go. How do you avoid that? Well, rinse it. Rinse it. Actually, put 
water right into the mouthpiece. So it blows in here. Use a garden hose or a tap. Put it right against your water blows right through and rushes out and it should rinse off that whole area around there. Once in a long time, take it apart. Clean it really, really well. Put it back together. Okay, simple. How to stop your regular from burping. Stop feeding it Mexican food. No, no, no. That's what the problem is. Usually that's what the problem is and that's what you can do. Okay, hope there's something in there of interest. You handymen in particular, be careful. Have a good time. Talk to you again soon. Alec Pierce.